what I think is special about the Terrafugia team is from top to bottom, everybody is excited and committed to the vision. We've taken automotive technology and packaged it into an aircraft. I mean, everybody thinks about flying cars. It's like an archetype for the future. This is the third vehicle we've built. We built the proof of concept, we built the, the next vehicle, and this is our, our production prototype. It's not just people coming in and punching the clock, doing their analyses and going home. They all want to get this thing to market. They recognize that this is this could be a game changer. You know, get into in the morning, drive to the airport, unfold your wings, take off, fly to the airport nearest where you want to go, land, drive to your final destination, all in one vehicle. I have experience in big auto, so I worked in Detroit for a number of years. I've done engineering consulting, which is very different from that. I've um, been the co-founder of a startup. So I've worked on small projects, consumer products, worked on very large, complicated projects. And this is a kind of a unique blend of all of that. The design is very cross-coupled. Everything affects everything else. The aircraft parts affect how it drives, uh, weight affects everything, and it needs to do a lot of different things. The system on the, the transition that I would say is the most mature, uh, the one that we have the most iterations of, is the folding wing system. That's something that we're very comfortable with at this point. The propeller in this case is towards the back of the vehicle. It's called a pusher aircraft. There's a direct shaft from the engine to the propeller, but you also have to give power to the wheels. And this is an unusual combination, obviously, because there aren't other rotable aircraft that are driving around. The, the airplane has a uh, front crumple zone. In a, in a crash event, you don't want to stop very suddenly. So the front of the vehicle uh, crumples and absorbs the energy and decelerates the occupants. There's a safety cage that's around the occupants, and that gives the seat belts and the airbags uh, a place to work. And that's the kind of technology that has been in the automotive industry since the 70s, but is really very new to the aviation industry. Unlike other aircraft, you can fill it up at the pump at your local gas station, in addition to be able, being able to store it in a, uh, in a single car garage. So those are two barriers to entry for people who might think about purchasing an airplane. Where are they gonna keep it? And how much money is that gonna cost? And what kind of fuel do they have to use? And how much is that gonna cost? Uh, it's all built out of carbon fiber, with lightweight materials. Uh, we've really focused on reducing the weight of the vehicle for aviation, but we want it to be safe for the automotive applications as well. From end to end at this company, people are excited about what we're doing. This is one of the most exciting engineering projects I've ever worked on. For me, there's nothing more exciting than creating something and, and having it be manufactured, being able to touch it. There's some amazing work that's been done here, and I love being able to go out and sit in the plane and think about ways we can make it better, think about ways we're going to bring it to fruition. 